Hi, uh, Kurt. This is a prophetic uh, blueprint for you. Uh, uh, for those people who are watching on YouTube, uh, this is a prophetic blueprint. What it is is uh, he's got um, uh, 12 points that I can see in him. Um, if I really pushed it and went on and on and on and on and on, it'd probably be 40 points. So uh, I want you to... Uh, understand Kurt that this isn't everything that uh, is in you. Um, I recommend you uh, getting a blueprint of Orty too which is my friend and uh, he watches all these blueprints and uh, he watches all my videos and he'll be able to pick up things and do a blueprint for you too and have an additional <coughs> things to say. If uh, you look in the description tag down below, um, where you press see more, you'll be able to see all his email address and you can write to him and get his PayPal details and request a, a blueprint for him. If, uh, if you're watching this and you don't know what a prophetic blueprint is and you've tuned into this somehow, it's just a really comprehensive look at a person's destiny and future and what uh, God wants them to do so uh, I want to stress uh, to you Kurt as I start that all of this blueprint comes uh, because chiefly you're pursuing God and you've become God's friend it's all because of that and that's your chief purpose. If there was one chief purpose on earth it, uh, for you, it's uh, to uh, grow really close to the Lord and grow really close to the Father and uh, become like a very dear and intimate friend of his. And um, all of this, uh, this whole destiny, flows out of that and some of the unique things of this destiny flow uh, because of that. So uh, I'll just uh, pick this up and put it here and start to go through it. Uh, um, so the first one I've got uh, of the 12 points, I think it's 12, yeah. The first one of the 12 points I got was God's designer and I've never heard that before and uh, I've done a few prophecies and uh, 25,000 prophecies I think I have done uh, and I don't think I've ever heard the Lord say that a person is God's designer so what does that mean it's like God's architect, uh, when God gave me re revelation, that, uh, um, you, you'll be able to plant and refashion church structures. Uh, so you'll be able to come into a church, uh, get a download, get a blueprint of what that church is meant to be doing, and then you're able to counsel that church and uh, work with that church <coughs> and bring uh, bring teaching to that church and uh, direction and counsel so that that church has its structure changed uh, to a structure that aligns with God's purposes uh, for that church and God's got a purpose uh, for every church uh, and he's got an angel for every church as we've seen in the book of a uh, revelation the angel of the church of such and such the angel of the church of such and such so so see you um i, I don't have uh, high regard for people who call themselves apostles um so there's so many pretenders on facebook and uh, they seem to want you to um highly revere them because they've got the word apostle. 
but this is an apostolic work that uh, that you would be doing here. It's a um, apostolic uh, function to plant and restructure churches. And I don't know when that's going to start. Uh, can't give you a timeline for that, but there's a lot of wisdom involved and a prophetic gift involved to get words of wisdom, which are like directional words uh, for a church, and you'll be doing a lot of that pretty tired. So uh, the second thing I see is uh, building teams Building and equipping, equipping teams. So, so you are building teams of the prophetic, pure prophetic. Uh, I see you equipping uh, teams of healers. And then I see you teaching the prophetic people and teaching heal, healing people and intermingling them. <clears throat> so you get a whole lot of prophetic healers. So... People can walk down the street, they can heal anything, they can prophesy to anyone. They can just be uh, God's answer uh, to people's uh, problems and people's needs and, and solutions. Um, that uh, In, in uh, Revelation time, uh, in the last days, people can uh, walk down the street and uh, be shining. And uh, people are going to come up to him and ask some questions and want answers to things. And you're going to train up a lot of these shining ones. You're going to uh, train up a lot of the Lord's army. And uh, you're going to uh, grow people in teams so they can go out in teams, not just individually. I've got some... Uh, nice apple juice that I'm drinking and it's very sweet so uh, the third one is um, uh, you're going to be a forerunner in many ideas that will be very powerful God is going to continue to do a new thing through you so so many people want a Bible verse uh, for everything a person says uh, the church is just conditioned to hearing revelation and teaching and having it backed up by the Bible. Well, if you're constrained by what the Bible said, uh, there wouldn't be a lot of inventions. Um, people are going to think outside the box and outside the um, box that they put uh, the Lord Jesus and, and his father in. And please be aware that a lot of Christians have Jesus and the Father in a box. And when they hear something contrary to what they believe of God, they don't believe it. So you're going to be a forerunner um, and do the first things. Like I started the first email uh, request um, prophecy website. Uh, just, you could uh, write an email. You, you could come onto my website, which was number one on Google and MSN on Yahoo back then. And you could come on uh, to my website and request a prophecy for free. And we got about 15 to 20 prophecy requests a day when they were free. But that was the first thing. I started the uh, first uh, Facebook group uh, uh, on delivering personal prophecies once again, my strength and also believe I'm one of the few people who've ever published one new book a month for three years straight. I don't know if any other writer in the world that's put out such a uh, quality product uh, in so short a time. Okay, so uh, number five, you'll have a breaker anointing 
Uh, and then number four, we we're up to. Um, you will, uh, you will um, be a. Um, you sorry. Um, you'll be a keeper of the secrets, and I've never heard that before. And uh, so it's explained. Great men will hear of this and come and pay and hear to hear of the mysteries from God. So um, it's like a fulfillment of a, po a portion of Isaiah 60. Uh, great men from all around the world, every state of America, I, I think you're in America, every state and every country in the world, uh, they're, they're powerful people will be coming uh, essentially to you uh, to hear your wisdom, to hear your secrets. You'll almost be like a King Solomon uh, with the revelations and the things that God shares with you. And all of these things will be his secrets. And so his secrets are secret for a reason. They're not, um, they're not commonly available uh, to everyone. And uh, if you are given secrets of God, uh, they're very precious and uh, they shouldn't be uh, shared with people that are going to hear it and then turn on you and say, we've got 2,000 years worth of understanding of the Bible and you're saying total contrary. Uh, who do you think you are? And um, so you'll learn to only share your secrets with people who are willing to receive and these powerful men come from other countries uh, and travel a long distance to seek you out and sit at your wisdom. So um, you can start talking through any of the prophetic people. Um, you can, uh, uh, sorry, you, you can start talking uh, to uh, the average people and they might misunderstand you, but the major players, the major um, sort of um, uh, big people in the world, um, they will um, uh, come to um, hear that. And so you'll learn very quickly, <laughs> like myself, that um, the secrets can't even be shared. Uh, they're so powerful that it takes a powerful anointing and you really have to be chosen by God to receive it. And uh, one of these things is, uh, you know, that I know that uh, I don't know if, know if anyone else I've shared it with received it. Uh, I know an apostle that agreed with it when I shared it with him, uh, but uh, I don't know if I've shared it with a lot of people and I don't believe anyone fully embraced it and received it. And that was in Revelation uh, 22 at the end of Revelation. It says, don't add or take away from the book of this prophecy or the plagues mentioned in this book will come upon you. Uh, the, one of the only uh, uh, books that's got plagues mentioned in it um, is uh, the book of Revelation. So it is that book and it says, don't add. Uh, <coughs> Then it uh, says, uh, don't take away uh, from the book of, uh, uh, of this prophecy. So, um, you know, so many people, if you ask them uh, what's adding and taking away, they'd say, uh, you know, adding is adding a paragraph to the book of Revelation and taking away is taking the paragraph. Uh, that's crazy, you know, that's absolutely crazy that people believe that. Because the only people that would need to know that, if it was that, is Bible translators. And I bet they've got a holy fear of the book of Revelation because that warning's there. But it's not that. This is an example of a secret. Adding to the book of Revelations anything past chapter 4, where it goes into the prophecy, um, anything past chapter 4, if you get a page of that uh, revelation and then teach on it for 10 pages, uh, unpacking what that page says, you've added to it. Uh, and if 
anything you say in that 10 pages about that page is wrong, you've taken away from it. And um, so, <coughs> A lot of the so-called experts in Revelation don't know what that verse means because they wouldn't be writing books on it. And so uh, many of the people who have written books on it have written error and uh, they're not going to heaven. Now, that's, um, that's an idea, that's, that's an example of one of God's secrets. Uh, as I said, I've really only had one other person in the world confirm that and say that that was true. Uh, and so one of God's secrets like that can't be shared with people. I've tried and I've tried. I think I've shared it with 20 people and none of them received it. Uh, so you, I, I just used that example. I didn't mean to like, take up your whole blueprint uh, with, uh, with that example. But what I'm saying is when God starts sharing these secrets, there's only certain people that will be able to receive it. And uh, I feel you, you know about this because you've already had revelations and secrets of God. You've tried to share it and it's just a waste of time. So I think you already know what I mean. But uh, if you don't know that, if that wasn't right, um, then uh, you'll find out soon enough as you start to get secrets. And you, start, you, you sort of get a happy uh, to share it with people until you start getting the same reaction out of everyone, uh, thinking you're absolute crazy. Yeah, so um, great men will come and lay their wealth down to hear of what you have to say. You have a tremendous reputation for it. And the reason why that's been entrusted to you uh, and uh, God wants to use it is to equip you with finances because so many of these great men will come looking for answers. If you not only have scripture, but you have revelation and some of the secrets and uh, it'll totally bust them open and um, they'll, they'll get the right agenda and start doing things God's way. So um, number five, you'll have a breaker anointing and uh, you can look that up and read books about it to get more more um, understanding. But um, <coughs> you will, people who ask you for prayer uh, will, will um, be able to um, have their giants destroyed through your prayer. So for a major... Um, Addiction of mine for 30 years was addiction to prostitutes and uh, I had an addiction to pornography and for the last six weeks I haven't touched pornography or prostitutes and uh, and it was broken by one man's prayer who, who asked people to repent and uh, put their hand up in the spirit and pretend they're putting their hand up and he'll pray for the breaking of bondages and addictions. And <clears throat> He had this uh, breaker anointing, which when he prayed, I had breakthrough. And they were giants. I never thought I'd be free of them. Um, and uh, people who've been delayed and blocked uh, with promises of God will see immediate breakthroughs when you pray for them. And you can, um, you can imagine how much wealth that gift could generate. Once again, uh, the great men of the world will be coming for the mysteries and some of them will have giants in their life and some of them will uh, need uh, the lack and the delay stopped and uh, there'll be things coming against them rather than having to go to the courts of heaven uh, to be able to do that, you'll be able to do it with a prayer. and. Uh, the people that you pray for will have such faith in your anointing and your power that they won't need faith to actually lose the thing. They'll just have so much faith in you that uh, you have a reputation for getting 100% breakthroughs. So that's why people will flood to you because uh, you've got this power, uh, you've got this power anointing. Number six. You'll be able to impart your breaker anointing as the Lord wills 
and your father many sons and daughters with the mantle that you've imparted. So um, from time to time, you'll have sons and daughters approach you and the Lord will give you the leading to impart that breaker anointing on them, that, uh, that uh, anointing for breakthrough. And uh, everyone you pray for who have giants will have their giants broken. Everyone uh, has torn down and uh, everyone who's got lack and delay and hindrance, uh, when you pray for them, it'll be healed and fixed. So we're at, um, at the 20 minute mark, so we're doing well. Number seven, you'll be a coach and overseer, father over the fivefold ministries and business apostles. So um, you get the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, and uh, you're going to um, you're going to uh, be like a, an equipper, a coach, and an overseer and a father over the fivefold ministry. So it's like you're going to be like an apostolic covering, an equipper, and trainer, and coach to hundreds and hundreds of fivefold ministers plus business owners. You're going to have this. Uh, I don't like the word ap apostle, but you're going to have this apostolic covering. You're going to father uh, the fivefold and uh, have uh, so many people of influence uh, under your anointing and under your covering. Now, right about now, you're saying, this Matthew, he's, uh, he's crazy, man. What's he saying that about me for? And uh, I'm not saying about you. I'm saying talking about a new creation created by Christ. And as you walk into this, you'll see that it actually happens and uh, you're actually uh, this person. Number eight, uh, you'll, you'll be a covering, a fathering, an equipping of many sons and daughters um, uh, through webinars, paid mentoring, videos, books, and seminars. So, uh, so... Uh, you're going to be like a father and apostolic covering and coach to the fivefold. But to the regular church, the regular army, uh, you're going to equip uh, many sons and daughters through webinars, uh, uh, mentoring, like paid mentoring, uh, videos, books, and seminars. So you're just going to teach these and equip these people and like be a spiritual father for. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, gifted people who ne might necessarily not be in the fivefold ministry offices. So you're going to be a coach and overseer and uh, trainer to fivefold ministers, plus all their crew, all their all their churches, all their congregation. You're going to be father. You're going to father them to and train and equip them uh, to be tremendous sons and daughters who know their destiny and who are living out their destiny. So number nine, uh, you're going to be a revelator of heaven, a similar to Kat Kerr, um, and a friend of many saints who will impart their wisdom to the world as you train the saints of God to both access heaven and the saints. So you're going to access heaven, tell people, in a book or two, uh, how wonderful heaven is. And then uh, you're going to start talking about saints that you've met and then start to, like, pray for people and, uh, and release saints into their life. So you're going to, you know, first you're going to be a revelator of heaven and build great friendships with many saints. And then through the testimony of your relationships with those saints, it'll allow the saints to turn up and you'll uh, teach people, individuals and groups of people to see in the spirit and communicate with the saints. So uh, I can see myself uh, preaching one day and then uh, David just standing next to me and preaching uh, his message and I'm preaching what he's saying. And people uh, in the audience will be able to see David preaching and he'll see me preaching and we'll be preaching on the same thing and even... Uh, 
intermingling our message. And those with spiritual ears will be able to tune out my voice and uh, hear uh, the saints speaking. And uh, you're going to um, not only walk with them and talk with them and bring their revelation and their knowledge uh, to the world, but you're actually going to go one better. You're going to uh, teach the world and equip the sons of God in the army, uh, the last day's army, how to talk and interact and be mentored in specific subjects uh, by the saints of God. So if you're a programmer or in business in technology, wouldn't Steve Jobs be a wonderful uh, person to have in heaven? And number 10, you'll have a school of ministry. So I, I, I got a feeling that it's like a baffled school uh, that uh, you'll have live-in students uh, for a couple of years and it'll be accredited, I uh, feel, uh, somehow approved by the government so they get a certificate or a diploma or a degree. Um, now, that's a huge undertaking, but it can be small. Um, God didn't say how big it is. So you could have a small uh, <coughs> supernatural school uh, for six months and they pass out and then uh, they, you can do the second semester um, in six months and people who want a certificate do a six-month course. People that want to uh, get a diploma does a year's course and people who've done a diploma can uh, qualify for um, uh, university and qualify um, uh, to, to get a degree. And uh, you... you um, won't necessarily need the thing accredited. You won't necessarily uh, need uh, the government to appeal and uh, uh, agree with what you're teaching and uh, teaching people that it's wrong to sin. And uh, we shouldn't embrace people that are sinning all the time. Um, that's uh, that's uh, something... Um, yeah, I forgot my line of thought there. Sorry about that. Um, so you're going to have this um, school of ministry and uh, you're going to teach some powerful things. And I, I can see it starting small, but then uh, growing in students and becoming such a large thing that uh, you can even record the sessions of the lectures and uh, make um, uh, master classes out of 25 lessons. Uh, uh, I, I think there's 26 weeks in a half a year and uh, so if you did 25 lessons you'd have a week off and then enter into a new year of uh, teaching. What's good is uh, you'll always have teachers because you'll always have students going out, being in ministry, uh, coming back with experience and being one of your teachers. So it's like uh, your own students will rise up and become your teachers. Number 11, uh, uh, I see restaurant. Uh, I, I think you like food and you enjoy food and uh, I think um, you're going to start a number of restaurants and uh, I don't know where cooking comes, whether it comes from uh, a, your significant other, if you've got one of them or you've always had an interest uh, in fine dining and chefs and uh, restaurants, uh, wh whatever your interest is and whatever, where it's coming from, I can see a number of restaurants you open. And number uh, 12, I can see businesses of many kinds. Uh, you are starting and having a piece of. Uh, so I can see you getting business ideas and uh, launching it with finances that you've got. And uh, um, the restaurants take a lot of money to set up. You've got to totally redo it and build a kitchen and pay rent for all the time. There's renovations. and. It's very expensive to get into, uh, but uh, when you have a lot of cash, uh, restaurants are fun to own. They also have um, ratings from five to one, and um, have a one-star rating isn't fantastic, but when you have a one of the five-star ratings in Sydney, uh, you can charge a lot of money, and people can uh, be on a waiting list uh, to come and dine at one of your sittings in your restaurant. Uh, they can be on a waiting list for six months. And uh, 
that's what you want uh, as a restaurant to be fully booked for six months in advance. <coughs> sort of maximum profits and little worry about bills and overheads when you've got guaranteed money that's going to be coming in every week. And so uh, just to finish off, uh, just a few more things. Um, you've got uh, a spirit of excellence, which means that uh, you do things with an excellent spirit like Michael Jackson and Steve Jobs did. Uh, they lived a life of spirit, spirit, spiritual excellence. You've got very deep compassion, which is a manifestation of the love of Jesus. And uh, you're not just the person who says you love people, but uh, you invest. You invest in people. And uh, that's a really marvellous thing. And uh, you've got strong compassion. I can see you uh, travelling the world, ministering, preaching, equipping, training, uh, fixing problems in the third world. I can see you... Uh, raising orphanages, uh, supporting orphanages, starting your own orphanages, networking with uh, people all through Africa, doing great works. I can see you um, starting businesses, uh, like I said, but they'd be so successful that um, you'll even have your own uh, marketing firm and advertising firm that uh, grew out of great advertising for your own uh, businesses and then you built your own marketing and, uh, and uh, advertising firm because uh, you were doing so much of it for your businesses, you started to do it for other businesses. So there's no end of ideas for someone who's open uh, to uh, do business and serve the Lord and sow into the Lord's kingdom. So there's some things I've seen. Uh, I want to warn you uh, right now, and I should have warned you at the beginning, that these uh, prophetic blueprints, and uh, I'd encourage you uh, to get one off Orti if you can afford it too. Um, these prophetic blueprints are like hearing the exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask or think according to the power that works within us, as Ephesians 3.20. So uh, God likes to keep, sometimes, he likes to keep our future a mystery and not tell us everything about it. Because we'll run like Jonah the other way. And I've, I've sort of done uh, 23, 24 of these. And 75% uh, of the people won't talk to me anymore. And uh, I think it's just been too profound and too big and too awesome for them to contemplate. So my advice is uh, listen to all this. Uh, get it typed up. I, I'll do a summary under the video um, of, the, of the 12 points. I'll do a little um, one line for each of the points. And uh, you can look at that as a summary. And just think about trying to achieve two of them or three of them. And as you move out in 10, 20 years, you'll start to achieve all of them because they're all on your destiny blueprint. You're very obedient. You're very submitted to God. You've been through a lot of suffering. You've proved that you're a giver. Uh, you're a really powerful man of God. And, uh, and you're going to be raised up. Uh, it's been the cry of your heart all your life just to be a servant and make change. And uh, God's got bigger plans for you. So um, I pray that this really blessed you. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, you can even book a session with me and I can go into greater detail about how it works and uh, what some of your first steps would be. So God bless you uh, for your donation. Uh, if you're watching this, I encourage you to... Um, order a blueprint for yourself and if you go to the description tag down below uh, you can order that if you like this video like it if you didn't like it uh, I'll pray for you and I'll dispatch angels uh, to you uh, if you really like this blueprint share it on Facebook uh, tell people that he does an amazing job and you should get one and uh, do myself a favor subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe if you don't uh, pass and uh, it's good to subscribe because as you start liking videos, they go to your own channel, uh, which is an amazing thing. So God bless you and uh, keep you. And uh, I hope uh, I hear good feedback from you. God bless.